This implementation probably feels fairly natural to someone from, say, a C or Java background. But if we measure the execution time of this code for a large input, we, say, we see that this operation is very slow, perhaps surprisingly so. We'll benchmark this with IPython time it magic, which will be which has been discussed earlier. Okay, so now back to the code. It's big score array and dot random dot grand int the bracket one two hundred size equals to one. Actually, one million. Time it. Compute. Reciprocal. Big error. Now give some time. Okay, so it takes several seconds to compute these million operations and to store the result. When even cell phones have been have processing speeds measured in gigaflops, that is um, billi billions of numerical operations per second. Here we got the result three point one. 3.61 seconds plus minus 664.6 meter per second per loop which is mean plus minus standard deviation of seven runs in one loop each okay so this seems almost absurdly slow in the gigaflops of the mobile speeds mobile phone speeds it turns out that the bottleneck here is not the operations themselves but the type checking and function dispatches that C Python must do at each cycle of the loop. Each time the reciprocal is computed, Python first examines the object's type and does a dynamic lookup of the correct function to use for that type. If you were working in compiled code instead, this type specification would be known before the code executes and the result could be computed more efficiently. Okay, now let's introduce U Funks. Introducing U functions known as U Funks. So, for many types of operations, NumPy provides a convenient interface into just this kind of statically typed compiled routine. This is known as vectorized operation. You can accomplish this by simply performing an operation on the array, which will then be applied to each element. This vectorized approach is designed to push the loop into the compiled layer that underlies NumPy, leading to much faster execution. Okay, so now let's compare the results of the two codes. Print. Compute reciprocals values print one point zero values. This gives the answer to this one as you can see here. So looking at the execution time for our big array, we see that it completes orders of magnitude faster than the Python loop. Now we will use the time it function. One point zero big array. Now it will take some time. So vectorized operations in NumPy are implemented via U funks. We got the answer six point two four ms plus minus 61.6 .6 micro I guess it's micro second per loop and it goes on so vectorize and we were, we were discussing that 
vectorized operations in NumPy are implemented via ufunx, which whose main purpose is to quickly execute repeated operations on values in NumPy arrays. So ufunx are extremely flexible. Uh, before we saw an operation between a scalar and an array, but we can also operate between two arrays like this. np dot arrange five and p dot arrange one comma six so we got uh, output this zero to zero point five then zero point six 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 seven then zero point seven five then zero point eight so and u funk operations are not limited to one dimensional arrays they can act on multi-dimensional arrays as well x is equals to n p dot arrange nine dot reshape to to sterix x gives the output this so computations using vectorization through u funks are nearly always more efficient than their counterpart implemented through python loops especially as the arrays grow in size Anytime you see such a loop in a Python script, you should consider whether it can be replaced with uh, vectorized expressions. 